Section 2, Figure 2 shows a person on a skateboard at the top of a ramp. At P, the person is not moving. As Figure 2, that's 2A. The person rides the skateboard down the ramp from P to Q. The gravitational potential energy of the person decreases by 90 joules. The mass of the person is 35 kilogram. Calculate H, the height of the ramp. Use G equals 10 newtons per kilogram. Use the equation change in gravitational potential energy equals M times G times H. M is the mass. G is the gravitational field strength. H is the height. So we need to assign the energy values. That's the gravitational potential energy, 980. That's the mass and the height we're looking for. And we're to use Use that equation. G is the gravitational field strength and H is E over mg. We need to populate that with the values 980 for energy divided by 35 for mass and 10 for gravitational field strength and that is 980 over 350 and that gives 2.8 therefore H is 2.8 meters. Question 2b. The kinetic energy Ke of the person at Q is 950 joules. The mass of the person is 35 kilogram. Calculate the velocity of the person at Q. Use the equation V squared equals to 2 times Ke, that's the kinetic energy, which is 950, divided by the mass M, which is 35 kilogram. We need to make V the subject. This is V squared, so we need to square root both sides. And therefore, V equals root 2 times energy Ke over M. We need to populate with the values. So that's 2 times 950, that's Ke, divided by 35, the mass. And that gives root 1900 over 35, and that's root 54.29, that equals 7.37, that would be 7.4 meters per second for the velocity. Question 2c, figure 3 is a diagram that represents energy changes from P to Q. Decrease in gravitational potential energy, 980 joules, that's increase in kinetic energy, 950 joules. So we're converting gravitational potential energy to kinetic energy. Energy is wasted in the process and that's x. 2c.1 state what is represented by x. x will be the thermal energy stored, which is the energy wasted. And we have to cut value of x. That will be 980 minus 950 equals to 30. So x will be 30 joules. We have to calculate the efficiency of the system represented in figure 3. E is the efficiency equal to 950 energy useful over 980 total energy supplied times it by 100. So efficiency is 0 0.97. And if we times it by 100, efficiency will be 97%. So the total efficiency is 97%.